This video will introduce you to a shortened way of writing an electron configuration for an atom. It's called a core notation. Core notations are much more concise than full configurations and they still convey important information about an element. We'll start by looking at the configuration of neon, element number 10. Neon is a noble gas with 10 electrons. The electrons enter the lowest energy orbitals first, as shown here. This gives us the configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Now we'll look at the element number 11, sodium. It has 11 electrons, which occupy orbitals like this, and gives us the configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. Now we'll put a box around the orbitals of sodium that are found in a neutral atom of neon. The neon part of sodium, which consists of the inner electrons, is called the noble gas core, just like the core of an apple is in the inside. The noble gas core is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, just like a neutral neon atom. We'll put a box around this in sodium's configuration. We say the noble gas core of sodium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. And the outer electron configuration of sodium is 3s1, which we show here in the configuration. Since the noble gas core of sodium, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, is exactly the same as a neutral atom of neon, we replace this by Ne with square brackets in the configuration. The symbol for a noble gas in square brackets is a convention chemists use to show a noble gas core in an atom's configuration. So we compact this a bit and write the noble gas core configuration for sodium as Ne in square brackets and 3s1. The Ne represents the 10 inner electrons in the noble gas core and the 3s1 represents the outer electron outside the noble gas core. S and P electrons outside the noble gas core are called valence electrons. So sodium atom is said to have one valence electron, the electron in the outer 3s orbital. As we'll see later on, valence electrons play a very important role in the chemistry of an element. Let's locate neon on the periodic table. It's element number 10 with 10 electrons in a neutral atom. And its configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. The next element on the periodic table after neon is sodium with 11 electrons. And its noble gas core configuration was written as neon 3s1. Where its 10 inner electrons are in the neon core and its outer electron is in the 3s orbital. We can show sodium's outer configuration in its box on the periodic table, like this. Now we'll look at the element that comes after sodium, magnesium, with 12 electrons. Using the energy level diagram, we see how the 12 electrons fill the orbitals and give rise to its configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. Again, we put a box around its noble gas core, neon, which is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and replace this with Ne in square brackets. And the outer configuration of magnesium is 3s2, giving us neon 3s2 as our core notation. The noble gas core is neon, and the outer configuration is 3s2, we show that in magnesium's box on the periodic table. Remember sodium's outer configuration was 3s1. And we know magnesium's is 3s2. Now we'll look at the next element, number 13, aluminum, with 13 electrons. Its highest energy electron goes into the 3p orbital. So its configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p1. We isolate the noble gas core of aluminum, which is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, the configuration for a neutral atom of neon. So we replace this with Ne in square brackets. And aluminum's outer configuration is 3s2, 3p1. The noble gas core is Ne, 
and the outer configuration is 3s23p1, which we show in aluminum's box on the periodic table. You can see that if we wrote the noble gas core configuration for the next element, silicon, with 14 electrons, its outer configuration would be 3s23p2. So we can write that under silicon on the periodic table. And the next element, phosphorus, with 15 electrons, has an outer configuration of 3s23p3, which we can write under its symbol on the periodic table. Skipping ahead to argon with 18 electrons, we see its outer configuration is 3s23p6. Notice it has a full set of 3s and 3p orbitals. Again, we write its outer configuration under its symbol on the periodic table. What we'll do now is just write the endings of the configurations for this group of six elements here. Notice they go from 3p1 consecutively up to 3p6.